Hey guys, Mr. Chapman. It is time for step six. And as Audrey pointed out in that last video, or two videos ago, uh, apparently I said the word okay 31 times. So if you guys are counting specific words, random words that I say, go for it. it tells me that you're watching. That's awesome. All right. So um, I guess you could go with um for this time. All right, here we go. This actually, step six is the project, okay? So we've kind of set up your website. We've set up all of our stuff. We're ready to go, okay? The only reason I made this video and I'm making it for you is because I want to make sure that you're actually recording what you're doing, okay? So I would hate for you to get to the end of the project, hey, I'm done, and then I ask you, hey, what about this and this and this? And you have no idea what I'm talking about, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to do my project, just like you're doing yours. Okay, so I'm actually going to start my project today. And before I do that, I want to show you my Google Sites. So most of you guys who've done one have shared your website with me. Okay, so I see some here. Now some of them are not very clear what they are, um, but hopefully when you get your proposal on there, um, and no rush on that. But once you get your proposal on there, it'll be very clear what your whole project is, okay? So anyway, just really good job so far on all of our websites that you guys have going. Um, I plan to have basically a huge list of the websites so that we can actually go explore each other's when we're done, okay? So anyway, that step five for this week is really just to share that website with me so I can generate and create that um, list of websites. Um, another thing that would be really, really helpful, even to you and to me and to everyone else looking at your website, put your name on it. A lot of you guys have nothing with your name, okay? Um, so like this one, untitled site. Like, what's that, okay? You guys didn't put titles on, all right? So remember to put titles onto your site. So here is mine. I'll open it up. And I'll show you one more time how to put a title on. And you can put the name, your name, in the title if you want. You can put your name somewhere in here, okay? In fact, I might just do that right now. Um, let's see if I can drag this up in here. Uh, it's not going to let me. I can't remember how to add text here, but, oh, that was cool. Check that out. I double-clicked. Oh, look at that. That's neat. Ooh, I like that. I just learned something new, guys. spell my own name. Nick Chapman. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, reduce that a little bit. We're actually going to make it a little bit bigger. Oh, that's no good. Let's go with, what about this? Yeah, perfect. All right. I wish I could change the color, but I probably can. Sometimes these things get annoying. You just have to deal with it. All right. That was good. Okay, another thing you guys aren't doing is giving it a title. So that's up here. So see where I have my title? Mine's called Coaster Project. Okay, and I put my name right here. Okay, the other thing you guys aren't doing is publishing. Make sure you click on the word publish. Anytime you make a change to your website, you always want it to save. Okay? All right, so that being said, all right. Now, if I go through my pages right here, all these pages were good, okay? Now, let me look at this proposal page. I still haven't put my proposal on here. I wrote it, but I haven't put it on. That's okay. We'll get into that later. All right, what I wanted to do with this video is really just start the project. So my project is to be making coasters, okay? So if you remember, and I'll get you one so you can see. There you fell on the floor a few days ago. Okay. Oops, fell down. Uh, they look like this. It's a piece of wood. Basically, it's a piece of wood flooring. And I'm going to use my laser engraver to engrave a picture into that, and it will be a coaster. Okay? So, what I have to decide first is what kind of pictures do I want? Um, so, um, I really want to put these at my 
parents' beach house for them. Okay, so maybe I should do beach themes. That's a good idea. Now, here's the deal with this, okay? When you use a laser engraver, you actually basically only want to laser engrave the black portion of your picture. Okay, so you kind of want it to be an outline. So for example, let me just show you. Um, uh, so if you look at this, here's just a random one. I'm opening this up here. There you go. Jimmy and Sarah. All right. Now you'll notice that there's no color because it's literally burned into the wood. Okay, so there's no coloring. So whatever your thing is going to be, it's going to be a black and white picture. Okay, um, it's going to be either black or a shade of black, a gray. Okay, and so what I like to do with mine, honestly, is to really make them quite simple and basic. Um, even this one right here, even though this design is very beautiful and intricate, the actual there's not much like shading or anything like that in there so if even if i look at this one you notice there's some shading in this deer or elk or whatever it is okay um and there's some in here but really this black part this dark part is the part that gets burned okay and it turns it that color and so your laser engraver actually knows how how much to burn it to make it a darker color of brown okay so kind of cool if you take a look at this one this one's kind of neat um, I actually have some um, round wood shapes that I cut from a um, piece of driftwood that I got um, at the beach. So I might even do something with that. Um, I can even show you one that I already made, uh, but I won't do that today. All right, so what I want to do is I really want to figure out what kind of theme I want. And I said I want a beach theme. So if I do Oregon beach pictures, I'm going to get some pictures here. All right. Now, um, I'm going to find one and basically do the art for one of them. I will not laser engrave today. I'm going to wait for that for next time. I might do like three or four videos this week just showing you the process of how to do this. Okay, so I think I'm going to take Haystack Rock is pretty famous. Um, Haystack Rock... Hmm. You know what? Let's do Yukona Head Lighthouse. That's in Newport. It's a pretty iconic and famous lighthouse. Um, let's go ahead and just grab one of these. Okay. I'm going to grab this one. It's very clear and crisp. I like that. All right, I'm going to copy and paste. Okay, now I'm using a program called Inkscape. Inkscape is the same as Photoshop, if you guys have ever heard of Photoshop. Um, if you're ever into, if you're going to get into graphic design or art on a, using a computer, um, Inkscape is free, um, and you can download it, but it has to be downloaded, so you can't do it on a Chromebook. Um, the only art program I know of that you can really do a lot of this stuff with, um, you can probably do it with that that sketch pad thing. Um, I've just never done it, and so I wanted to use a program that I knew how to use. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in here. All right, there's my lighthouse. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, so. Okay, so. All right, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger because I don't need that blue area out there. I really just want the lighthouse. And later on, after I'm done with my drawing of it, I can actually, um, I can actually, uh, oh, change the size of the image. All right, now, my issue is that my loom is in my tools area. It's kind of bothering me. Okay, what I want to do is first, I need to lock the image. Oh, I need to put it on a... Need to put it on a layer and lock 
that layer block. Now if I, see, now I can't like select it and move it around. Okay, what about now? Yeah, see, now my image is locked on layer one. What that means is that it's kind of hiding under it. And so what we're going to do is sit on layer two and we're going to draw on top of it. All right, just to play around with it, um, let's see if I can actually click my tools here. I'm really struggling with it. I think the loom tools are kind of in my way. Mm, all right, we may have to. All right, we're going to do this. I'm going to get this out of my loom tools. Okay, and my head. I'm going to move my head over here. Okay. If I click on this guy, why well, want to let me click you? Okay, finally let me click it. I was still too close to my loom tools. All right, loom is the recording thing that I'm using to make this video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this. And you can zoom in. The, the thing is, as you zoom in, you'll notice that the picture loses some of its focus, which is okay. You kind of just have to work around that. Now, um, right now I'm going to use this. Let me see if there's anything I want to do up here. Um, oh, wait. I want busier curves. And I want ellipse, I think. Let me try it. All right, do not like that. All right, let's see if I can see if I can get this correct. I go to the middle, kind of bend it a bit. All right, and then we'll go to this end. And kind of leave it like that, and then. What I can do is I can go ahead and click on these. I can add a node in here. All right, I am not liking that. Okay, well, we're having some failures tonight, guys. All right, so basically the idea here is that you trace these over um, these lines. Um, and the reason it's so fat and big is because it's way too um, thick. All right. I've got a feeling this is not going to work. We are going to see. I could, ah, I could just trace it, I guess. This is the calligraphy pen. I've really played with this one. It's kind of cool though. All right, and as you can see, like these kinds of things take time. Um, and it's really all about how much time you're willing to put in. Um, there are also different tools that you can use. I'm just, I'm not using them, I'm just trying to draw this kind of looks like. And I'm actually not doing it very straight on purpose because I kind of want it to look almost cartoony. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, now let's go ahead and zoom in here and let's try another tool for fun. All right, oops. No, stop it. Stop it. All right, I'm going to stop it. All right, I got to zoom in. All right. Let's try this one again. Now, you'll notice I'm having some issues, right? Well, you guys are bound to have issues with your stuff too, right? And that's okay. The idea is not to get overly... Um, those turned out really poorly. The idea here, though, is to have fun doing it. 
and oh, what's this one? It's just so thick. I'm trying to figure out how to make it thinner. In the past when I've done this, I haven't had this much of an issue with this. It might just be the picture that I've chosen. Um, what does this one do? Yeah, it keeps really wanting me to... Mm -hmm. oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so the key here, guys, is really to figure this out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, skip ahead in this video to where I actually have a finished product. Okay, so I will see you, well, you'll see it imminently. Okay, guys, so this is what I ended up with with my lighthouse. Um, um, I kind of cheated a little bit. I used a tool that actually makes the image into kind of a silhouette. Um, it's a pretty sweet little tool um, that I used right here. It's called Object Path Trace Bitmap. And basically what it does is it traces the actual picture and then um, creates this cool image. And then I just drew the line down to kind of complete the edge, which I really didn't need to. In fact, I might take it out. It's kind of cool without it. Um, I think you can kind of tell it's a lighthouse. But anyway, basically what I'm going to try and do now is um, get rid of some of this other stuff on the edge. Um, that I don't really need. And if I remember how to do this correctly. Okay, so you'll see that I cut off these edges here, hopefully. Um, this is actually kind of a pain program. It's really not simple. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and save my work just in case. And I'm going to go ahead and let's save it as a shoot. PNG, SVG, PNG, PNG, yes. All right, we shall see Cairo. Um, let's go with PNG. Call it drawing. Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. Now. All right, we'll do that too. Lighthouse, just in case we lose it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it in. I'm going to show you how I open it in the software for the laser cutter. Okay, so this is the laser engraving machine software. Um, it's super basic, super simple. Um, came with a simple video on how to do it. Came with a bunch of test images. So, for example, like. Um, You'll notice that they're all black and white. Um, that's because, like I said at the beginning, when it burns it in, there's no color. And so what you want to do is really have that outline. Um, so, for example, if I throw a converse in here, basically what that means is that it'll be 19 millimeters wide. So that's two centimeters. That's, that's like this big. That's really small right now. So you can enlarge it and you can do different things. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and delete this picture. All right, and let's find our lighthouse picture, which I put down here. And we're just going to throw this in here and see what happens. Okay, so we've got a bit of an issue. I've got too much stuff on the bottom here. All right, and what I'm going to use is I'm going to go online and find a cropping software. And what that means is I'm going to cut out the piece that I really want. That way I don't have all this white space around it. Okay, all right, so I'm going to go do that. Okay, so what I did was I cropped it. What that means is I cut around what I want. Now you'll see it's a little bit more clear, right? We got just the area that we want to laser cut on there. Okay, now the next thing that I like to do is I want to I want to make this much bigger. Okay, right now it's very tiny. Okay, 29 millimeters. That's three centimeters. That's this big. Okay, about as long as a thumb. All right, so anyway, um... Let's go ahead and 
increase the size. Oh, first thing we want to do is um, increase the size of the of the cut, and I like to go with like 50. That says that's the depth of the cut. So it means the deeper it cuts, the hotter the laser gets, and the more it burns. Um, this one, to be honest, I have no clue what it's going to look like. So I guess I could run a test. Hmm. Nah, I'm not going to run a test. Just going to go with it. Okay, um, I guess I could have picked up some more of these things at Home Depot when I was there today. Oh, well. All right, here we go. Um, first off, let's make this bigger. So let's go with 60 by 60. And what it'll do is it'll kind of... What if I make the width 80? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up my laser cutter, and I will actually do this, and I'll video it for you. So, bear with me. All right. I had to find the perfect wire. Of course, that's always a pain. Okay. I've got it all plugged in, ready to go. Um, before I start this thing, I thought I'd show it to you. So, without further ado, I am going to show it to you. So this right here is my laser engraver. You'll notice it's pretty small. Okay. And I can show it to you because, oh, the laser's actually on, so I'm not going to get too close because I don't want to hurt your eyes. Um, but anyway, we can look down here at it, and you can actually see the laser in there, and I'll show it to you as it's cutting. Right now, the piece of wood is in there, and it's not burning, so I can lift it up and stuff. Uh, but the piece of wood's in there, and what we're going to do is we're going to line it up, and then I'm going to start it, and I'll show, show it what it looks like when it's burning. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set that up. Okay, so you guys should be seeing the laser engraver here. Um, right now you're also seeing the program that's going to cut it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find out where this is going to do it. Okay, what that means is this laser is going to move around this wood and cut it. But it needs Okay, to guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up... By the way, I had some technical difficulties there, so if that sounded weird, it's because I had an issue. So anyway, I've got to line up where the laser, where it's going to cut, okay? So in order to do that, I'm going to um, use this button called frame positioning. And what you're going to hear and see is it's going to draw a box around the area with the light that it's going to cut. So I've got to make sure that that little wood block is in that box. And it, I've got to make sure it's centered where I want it. In other words, I don't want it at an angle. I want it to be as straight as possible. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click this. Oh, i got to connect it first. There we go. Now it's connected. All right. And it's going. you might be able to hear it. It is actually going around in a, in a square. Okay? In a box. All right. So I'm going to see if I can adjust the camera here for you guys. All right. You're just seeing some of the table. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to look down here, and I'm using my protective eyewear to look at it. All right, that looks pretty centered. This side is moved a tiny bit. Hmm. 
It's really hard to get it exactly right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop frame positioning. All right, it's going to restart my location. And then I'm actually going to put the camera right down here. And you're actually going to watch it cut. All right, I'm just going to start it and then I'm going to show you the finished project because it takes a long time. This one will probably take over an hour. All right, here we go. And you'll see some brighter light. That bright light is it getting really hot and burning and cutting right there. So it's kind of neat, huh? So if I zoom out a bit, you can basically see the block in there and it's cutting it. All right, and I will show you guys a finished top finished product. Hey guys, so we got a finished product here. I'm about to show it to you. Okay, looks like this. So that's kind of cool. All right, so it's a piece of wood. We got our lighthouse on it. That's kind of neat. All right, and we'll do some steps to finish it up a bit, sanding and some other things. Okay, but anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you have a good time getting started on your projects. Bye, guys.